Hey there folks, in this video I'll show you how to get old Windows 3.1 games working in a modern OS such as Windows 11 by running them in the OS they were designed for, Windows 3.1, inside Windows 11 using DOSBox. Now usually these games, when you try to click on them in Windows 11, it'll just say this app can't run on your PC or something like that. So there are ways to get around it, but if you know for a fact that the game is designed for Windows 3.1, you should play it in Windows 3.1, you'll probably get the best experience. So sit tight, and in this video I will show you exactly how to do just that. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is create a working directory for DOSBox. This can be called anything you like, but for simplicity's sake, I called it DOSBox and just put it on the C drive. And then you're going to want to download the three driver files that I linked to in the description below. One for QuickTime, one for the S3 video card, and one for the Sound Blaster 16. And you want to go ahead and put these in separate folders. So first, just create a directory for QuickTime. I'll call it QT. And just drag the QuickTime folder, the QuickTime program into there. Then I want to create one for S3 video card. I'll call it S3. And for this one, I want to actually open up the, the archive. I trust me, I did register WinRAR. <laughs> and I want to drag that into the S3 folder. So let's just grab all this and drag it into S3. And then you can go ahead and delete this zip file. And then same thing for the Sound Blaster card. I want to go ahead and create a subdirectory SB for Sound Blaster. And then I'm going to open this up, go away message, and I'm going to copy this, control A, copies, selects everything, and then just drag it into the SB folder. And then I go in and delete this zip file as well. So now my working directory is all ready, and the next step is going to be to actually download DOSBox X. In this step, I'm going to download and install DOSBox X. Now, I'm using DOSBox X, not the regular DOSBox, even though I don't like it so much, actually. I prefer the regular DOSBox, but DOSBox X is one feature the regular DOSBox doesn't have, which is the ability to swap floppy disks, which is really important for installing Windows 3.1 since it comes on floppy disks. So I recommend you use DOSBox X for this, but you can switch later to regular DOSBox to actually run your games, and it won't be a problem once it's actually installed. So I'm on the website here for DOSBox X. I see here the 16, the 3264-bit setup. So just click on this over here. It downloaded a file. I'm going to go ahead and run it. Oh, you see, it's so nice. Windows protected my PC. I really appreciate that. Click more info over here and then hit run anyway. Thanks a lot, Windows. All right, so welcome to the DOSBox X setup wizard. So hit next, hit next again. You can pick whichever directory you want. It does not have to be the working directory you set up before. I don't putting things in this utils directory for utilities, so I'll put it there. It already exists because I had it installed before. For this thing here, I'm not sure if it matters. I just select the default here, Visual Studio XP build 64-bit. And then you want the default here as well, typically. And then assuming you're English, you want the default here. Again, you can pick whatever font you want. I'll just leave it to default true type font. And then this one just asks which DOS version to report. It doesn't matter. By default, it says it reports version 5. I'm going to pick 6.22 to install Windows 3.1 on top of it, but I don't think it really matters. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit next again. And for here, this is basically your preference. I don't necessarily need all these, um, these things that they have here. I'm just going to leave them all out, actually. And then go ahead and click install. And then next again. And then you can launch DOSBox X if you want to, but you don't have to. If I can leave that checked and finish, it'll actually go ahead and launch DOSBox X. In the next step, we're going to go ahead and install Windows 3.1 under DOSBox X. Now, Windows 3.1, you should have your own copy. But if you can't find your disks for whatever reason, you can get the images of the disks from this awesome WinWorld site, which I mentioned also in my Windows 95 video. I'll put the link below in the description. And uh, if, you have, if you're on this Windows 3.1 page and you scroll down here, you will see a bunch of different downloads. But the one you want is the one that says Windows 3.1 Retail, 3.5, 1.44 megabyte disks. You click on this one here, and then you can go ahead and download it. And then, once it's finished downloading, 
It's a zip file. You can open it up in WinRAR. And basically what you'll get here will be six different images, six different disk images. Now you want to go ahead and take those and extract them into whatever directory you want. It, does, it can be anything you want. It doesn't matter. I put them in my C temp directory. And now I'm going to go ahead and load these up using DOSBox X, which is already running over here. So basically what I want to do is, first of all, I want to mount this as the C drive in DOSBox X, the working directory I created, C DOSBox. And now I want to mount the images of the disks that I just downloaded as the A floppy drives. The image mount A colon, C temp, that's where I put these disks, disco one dot image space, C temp, disco two dot image. What I'm doing here is I'm basically saying I want to mount all the images and be able to switch, switch, switch among them at will which is really required for installing Windows 3.1, and this is why we're using the DOSBox X variant. Disco5.image, ctemp, disc06.image, and then I do dash T floppy to let it know it's a floppy drive. And there you go, drive A is mounted as all that. So now what I want to do is go into drive A, I go ahead and run setup, and I'm in the Windows setup program. So to learn more about Windows Setup, we don't want to do that. Set up Windows Now, press Enter. We're gonna do, you can do whatever you want here. I'm going to do Express Setup just to make it easier. So you don't have to do anything else. Just hit Enter here. And then it's going to go ahead and start copying files to your disk. So it's pretty quick. It's only six floppy disks. What's going to happen pretty quick is it's going to ask me to switch disks and put in the next disk. So here it is. Um, theoretically, Control F4 is supposed to work, I think, but it doesn't actually work for some reason for me, so I had to go into the menu here and go to Drive A and then Swap Disk. And I'll put in the next disk, press Enter when ready. And then each time it asks you for a new disk, you want to go ahead to that menu and hit Swap Disk. And then it'll go ahead and go through all of them. First, it's going to reboot again. And for some reason here, it, it, come, it becomes small. I don't know why it does that. Um, I could, You could fix that by going to the video menu here and say four scalar. And then it becomes bigger again, and I, I prefer it that way. Now, the way that when, the reason why I don't like DOSBox X is because it has a funny way of using the mouse. So right now you can see the mouse is there, but it's not actually working. And if I click on it, it's not going to work perfectly. If you hit uh, Control F10, I believe it is. It'll capture the mouse, and then you can go ahead and use the mouse inside inside DOSBox X. Then you have to press Control F10 again to get out of it. So I'll just put my name here, Stu. You can leave, delete a company name, press Continue. There we go. Continue again. Now it's asking for disk three. So I have to press Control F10 again to get out of this mode. Go back to Drive A and swap disk. And then I can just hit Enter. You don't have to use the mouse. Go again, Drive A, swap disk. Enter again, drive a swap disk, enter again, and finally last time, drive a swap disk, and enter again. And now, I don't have a printer, so I'm going to hit just OK for install, no printer attached. Now, I'm going to go back, Control F10, use the mouse again. You don't have to, you can use the keyboard commands, basically tab if you know what you're doing, but I'll use the mouse. Um, skip tutorial. I hit reboot, and then I'm, I'm back into regular DOSBox. So I've, I've successfully now installed Windows 3.1 into DOSBox. Okay, so in this step, I'm going to go ahead and install the drivers that I downloaded before. So first, I'm going to mount the C drive again, go into the C drive, and if I look now, I have a Windows directory that's been created, and I also have S3, SB, and QT. So let's start with the, the video card. Uh, and actually, the way to do this is, is a little bit different. You go into the Windows directory, and you type Setup again. And now it's going to let you change your driver. So right now it says Display VGA. I'm going to hit Enter here. Scroll down to the bottom, and it says, keep scrolling, Other. Let's press Enter. Then it says, where do you want to get this, these drivers from? So I type in C, S3, Enter. 
And now it's going to be a bunch of choices. Now I'm going to pick the first one here. You can pick different display resolutions, but basically most old, old Windows games require 640 by 480 and 256 colors or the design for that, which is what this first option is. That's what I'm going to pick here. And then accept the configuration shown above. And now it's copying files. So wait until that's done. It asks you again for the disk for some reason. So once again, you type in CS3. And now it's finished. So that's that's step one. Now the, the video drivers are installed properly. So I'm going to go back to the root directory. And I'm going to install the Sound Blaster drivers. CDSB. And I think the command is install. So first it has to initialize for a second. This, this install takes a very long time for some reason. I don't know why. Install the audio software now. Press enter. Now by default, DOSBox X emulates a Sound Blaster 16. Now, if you do custom installation, it probably takes less time, but just for the simplicity, we'll do full installation. Just hit enter, and it'll come you to this menu here. Now, you don't want to proceed. You want to make sure you set up Windows also, so you have to scroll down to Windows 3.1 Path, press enter here, and then, press, then it selects C Windows, which is the correct path. Press enter again. Now, it'll show up C Windows again, or here, rather, and then you can press enter for proceed. Give it a second here. Check your audio card. And now you have to make a change again because by default, DOSBox X uses IRQ7 for the sound card, not 5. So you have to scroll down to interrupt setting, press enter, and then pick 7. And now you can proceed using the setting shown. And now it's going to go ahead and install everything. And this takes a while, so you can probably step away and get a cup of coffee or whatever you like. I'm going to fast forward this in the meantime. If you get a prompt like this, um, you can just go ahead and proceed. It doesn't really matter. All right, so finally it's completed here. Uh, it says reboot for the modification to take effect. It really doesn't matter, but you can reboot if you like. I don't think it makes a difference. I'll press F10 though. This makes DOSBox restart, which means you have to mount it again. So mount C, C DOSBox. And now we're gonna do the last thing, which is the QuickTime. So we're gonna go to the QuickTime directory. And for this one, this is, a, this is an extractable uh, zip file. So self-extracting zip files. So you just have to run this QT. QTEZ16. And it's going to unzip a bunch of files. It's not going to actually install them. It does take a bit of time, so don't worry if it takes a while. Just let it go. And now we're going to go CD backslash Windows. Go into Windows and Win. Now we should hear audio. And we did. Audio program group Windows created. We're going to Control F10 to capture the mouse. And I can close this. You don't really need it. Some other stuff you could do, but I'll leave that for advanced stuff. Right now, we want to get the QuickTime drivers installed because a lot of games use QuickTime. It's an Apple program they designed for Windows, and usually it comes with the, with the QuickTime files in the game, but a lot of times it's not the right version. doesn't work properly, so it's better to install these. This is what I recommend. So you run the file manager, which is like Windows Explorer, basically, and you go to the Qt folder, and you want to run the Qt install.exe. Double-click on it. It'll say, do you agree or not? So just hit agree, hit install, press start, hit install again. Now it's going to go ahead and install the files. You can play sample if you want. I don't know why it doesn't actually play the sample, by the way. You have to click on this little play button. And then it should show the movie with the sound, if you have the sound installed correctly. A little silly movie and basically you're done now you've installed windows 3.1 you've installed all the right drivers you should have video and sound and movie capability and you're basically good so now you're ready to go ahead you can close all this stuff and you have a clean windows installation you're ready to go ahead and actually install your game all right so now that we have windows 3.1 installed inside dosbox we're going to go ahead and actually try to run a game now 
I'm using the regular DOSBox for this just to show you that it works. You could use DOSBox X as well, but I'm just have this is the regular DOSBox. This is their version number 7.74-3. Again, this would work in DOSBox X as well. First thing you want to do is mount your C drive, mount C colon to C DOSBox. And now I'm going to actually mount a CD image. So image mount D colon as C temp shuttle underscore mpc so this is the cd image that i already made before doesn't matter it can be any cd image you like i do dash t cd rom now it's mounted as drive d i go to c colon go to cd windows and go win and see it's working fine here as well the reason i like this better is that now i can don't have to use control f10 anymore it works fine just just click in the window and it works i go to file manager i find my d drive and here's my CD, and I can go ahead and run the install program, and this time it will actually work. Space shell runs, quick time, whatever. This is this doesn't matter. It could be any program you want. The bottom line is now it should work fine inside Windows 3.1 inside DOSBox. And there you go. There's how to get Windows 3.1 games running under DOSBox. Hopefully that was easy. You didn't have any issues. But if you did, let me know in the comment section. And in general, let me know in the comment section what you thought of the video. If you liked it, consider hitting that like button. And if you like to consider hitting the subscribe button as well, because I'm going to be doing more of these how-to videos and lots of other retro gaming content, especially really old stuff and adventure games, which are my favorite. So do those things and have a great day, everybody.